Peace. This is a meat and potato source for production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today, thank you so much for all the subscribers and for those who are curious about my channel. But now, the Alchemist has a question for you. Do you feel that you are a victim of a generational curse? Generational curses are very real. This is not something that you take from the Bible or the Quran. Generational curses are very real. And usually, it always begins either from an ancestor or one step further. Usually your great or grandparents. This is how it can begin. And it can take generations to remove that curse. Do you feel alone? Do you feel like you don't fit in? Is it hard for you to communicate with someone that gave birth to you? Your mother or someone that helped in your creation? Your father. Are you adopted? These are things that you need to ask. What can it lead to? It can lead to anxiety. It can lead to depression. Do you think you are a victim of a generational curse? You can be. But let's explore this. If you ever want to get insight on whether you are a victim of a generational curse, a good angel to dialogue with is Raphael. He will let you know if there is a generational curse. But do you have the guts and the maturity to accept the gnosis that will be given to you? One thing about angels, you can use sigils if you wish, but you don't have to do it. And you can Google it, and you can even use Konstantinov's book, Summoning Spirits. But you don't need that. All you need is the maturity and the willingness to know whether or not you are cursed. From generations. Because you have to remember something. Your parents or grandparents. They were victims too. So what usually happens. When you are a victim. After so long. You become the victimizer. Short story short. Hurt people. Hurt people. Everything isn't as cut and dry as right and wrong. You have to learn this on this planet. We all wish that people would recognize the error of their ways, but it doesn't always happen like that. So you can call upon Raphael. And let me say this. When you come here, depending on who you are, you can get one to maybe three guardian angels. Now, let's see if you you practice magic in another lifetime. Or magic is in your blood. Meaning, someone practice it in your family. And you can always explore a whole bunch of books about that. Let's say that they did that the calling will be so strong and you may not break the generational curse but your children may or your grandchildren may break it I want to say this to the family the hardest thing to do is to forgive yourself that is incredibly hard and I don't care how many self esteem books that you read I don't care how many channels that you go on and you get a tarot reading? What, King of Swords, 
Ace of Cups. If you have an emptiness inside, one of the reasons for that is you feel that you don't have a sense of belonging because of a generational curse in your family. And explore that. You have the tools and on the road to alchemy, alchemy can be painful. And you must know this. Spirits also can speak through human beings. You must know this. But you have what you need and people will tell you you may have chose to come here and this and you did you did choose to come here and have these experiences but while you are having these experiences know this the ultimate language the ultimate language that can transcend any multiverse because I talked to Cassiel Cassiel is an angel who's a watcher from Saturn. And for those that may not believe that, angels reside on many planes. And I will run this off. Cassiel is on Saturn. So is Sater, Kronos, Al Ghul and Behar. They're on Saturn. Raziel and Mesfetal, they're on Neptune. And if you want to talk about Saturn and those angels and demons on there, you can get an article from Freighter VIM dealing with with Zazil because he's mixed up with Zazil and like I said three books of occultism by Cornelius Agrippa but if you have a generational curse can this be broken it can be broken it may not happen in your lifetime but it will happen so what I want to suggest and say to you is that Forgive yourself. So it doesn't matter if you go to Kemet. Doesn't matter if you go to the West Indies. It doesn't matter if you go to a certain part of Europe. If you don't forgive yourself, and remember, your grandparents and parents, they they won't tell you because the shame is so embedded. What are you dealing with? Molestation? Incest? Are you dealing with violence and someone that wants to take advantage of you? Again, they were victimized too. So, I love you and work on that. That is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the water alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.